What's good, y'all? So today I'm gonna be trying some food hacks that I find on YouTube Shorts, bro. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. I, I, I don't wanna waste y'all time just chatting in the intro. Let's get into the video. This is a clear what soda the can. Hell? And surprisingly, you can make it at home with just a soda can and some drain cleaner. First, sand down the Coke can to reveal the raw aluminum. Then pop open the can and dunk it in the drain cleaner. You can see the chemical reaction right away. The drain cleaner is melting away the aluminum. There's even smoke. Let this sit for three hours. And don't worry, I won't make you wait for a part two. As we lift it out, you can see the can completely melted what away. The but the drink is still inside. What's left? is a thin plastic layer. This plastic layer is what prevents your coke from tasting like metal. And you can even refill it. Not gonna lie, that shit cool as fuck, but um... Do y'all think like that coke is like safe to drink? Like what if, I don't know, somehow like the chemicals from the drain cleaner kinda messed that up? I don't know, but that hack is kinda, the hack is it's cool as fuck though. I'm gonna go try it though, it's cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try that hack. So the first thing I gotta do is get this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a sponge. Anyways, let me go ahead and just start sanding down this can. Anyways, y'all, I'm pretty much done sanding it down. So let me go ahead and just pop this hole open. Then I need to add some drain cleaner inside of this cup. All right, now let's go ahead and put my soda can in here and just let it sit here for like three hours. All right, y'all, so it's been like five hours, bro. Let's go ahead and see if, if it actually make the soda can clear. And nope, it did not. Y'all, even though it didn't make the, the thing clear, bro, the, the soda can is like very, very weak over here on the side. Like if I feel like, I feel like if I pushed it in, I can like punch a hole in it if I just like simply just push it in, bro. Look, bro, the soda's spilling. Whatever, this hack sucks. Look at this. <gasps> what the <Perfect>. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That's low key like the easiest and laziest way to make pancakes. Yeah, y'all know I'm a fucking lazy ass chef, I think I'm a fucking air fry master. What? What? How? How do they taste? Do they taste the same? Yo, on some real shit, bro, I'm, I wanna try that hack. Cause, cause, I ain't gonna lie. Like, if that hack is like valid, bro, I could be eating pancakes every morning. Probably not, though. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying, I ain't trying to be no fat ass, bro. I'm on my weight loss journey. You feel me? Alright, y'all, let's go ahead and make it. So, the first thing I gotta do is get some goddamn parchment paper and add it in here. After that, I need to add some pancake batter on there. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and add some more parchment paper on top of it. Oh crap, God damn it. Ew, damn, I'm already messing up. After I get done doing that, I need to add some more pancake batter on top of it. Let's add some more parchment paper on there. And then let's add some more pancakes on there. God damn, but this is not gonna be pancake, bro. Like, look at this shit, bro. It's already like leaking, bro. Anyways, let me go ahead and just cook this shit, bro. No cap. All right, y'all, my pancakes are done. God damn, these all look good. Even though that it's not shaped like a pancake, it look good. No cap. What the hell? Anyways, let's go ahead and put the pancakes on top of this plate. Bro, what the hell, bro? The bottom didn't really get cooked like that. Like, bro, look at it, bro. It's still soft. But anyways, this pancake hack is kind of fucking ass. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You're better off what's called cooking it regularly, cause oh my god, god damn, this shit's terrible, bro. Like, like, bro, look at these, bro. They're falling apart, and, and it's halfway cooked, bro. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's go ahead and add some syrup on top of it, and let's go ahead and try it. Not gonna lie, bro, this shit good as hell, bro. It might not be the best presentation wise, but bro, this shit good as hell, bro. I like it, bro. It's like regular pancakes and it's easy to cook, bro. This shit fire. No cap. Hey, it's Kay, and I made crystal meth candy from Breaking Bad. Hey, y'all. I just got done man. watching Breaking Bad. That shit top tier. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Right. 10 out of 10. So, first, I combine water, sugar, 
corn syrup okay. and blue food coloring. Then I mixed it on medium high heat, letting it boil till it was 300 Fahrenheit. Then I put it on a tray, letting it cool for an hour. Annoyingly, I forgot to keep recording, so I made a second batch. Then it's time to crack it into small pieces. And I uh, kind of needed a hammer. After it's cracked, I put it into a small bag and it was ready to serve. Hey, it's hey, and I made Chris. Say, man. You feel me? Like, 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 like. I ain't gonna lie. I might just go make, make, me, make myself some crystal meth candy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me go make it. All right, y'all, so the first thing I gotta do is add some water in here. Then I need to go ahead and add a little bit of sugar in that bitch. Let's add some corn syrup. Then let's add some blue food coloring in there. Let's go ahead and mix this thing up. After I get done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this boil for a little bit. All right, so once it get done boiling, I'm gonna need to go ahead and put it on top of this tray. All right, now all I have to do is really just wait for um, my, 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 my crystal myth to get hard, you feel me? So I can start selling it and making that money. You feel me? So um, let me go ahead and just wait like, I don't fucking know, but title cards. Six and a half hours later. All right, y'all, so it's been a couple of hours and my crystal meth candy is finally ready. Let's go ahead and just start breaking this thing up. God damn, bro, this shit got me feeling like I'm water white in this bitch. You feel me, bro? God damn. Hold on, get in there. Bro, look at my goddamn crystal meth, bro. This shit is 99.9% .9 pure. You feel me, man? <laughs> Let me try, man. Oh! I feel like Tico! I'm gonna show you guys how to make real flan, not that stuff with gelatin in it. One cup sugar and a third cup Ooh, of water. What is flan? Is that shit just like. Just it looks like cheese to me. Milk? Sweetened condensed milk, four eggs, and one to two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. I'm mixing slowly because I don't want to incorporate any air bubbles. Gets rid of all those little chunks of egg that aren't mixing. So you want to make sure each one is covered nice and tightly with a layer of foil. Cook this in a bain marie warm water into the pan, halfway up the ramekin, 350 degree oven. You can see the actual vanilla. I ain't gonna lie, that shit does look good as fuck. That shit look like. It kind of look like a pancake with syrup on it. I don't know. It should, it should look good. I'm going to go try and make it. All right, y'all. So the first thing I got to do is get some sugar and add it inside this pot. Let's add a little bit of water in here. All right, now let's mix it up. Y'all, I think I might have probably added a little bit too much water, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work for sure, bro. So once I get done cooking the sugar, I'm going to need to go ahead and add it inside this pot. All right, now let's go ahead and add some milk inside this bowl. Let's add some condensed milk in there. Let's add some eggs in here. God damn, I dropped the fucking shell. <laughs> Anyways, let's add some more eggs. All right, now let's go ahead and mix this thing up. All right, so once I get done mixing it up, I'm gonna need to go ahead and just put it inside of this thing so I can like make it clear and more clean, you feel me? All right, now let's go ahead and put this thing inside this pan. Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might be missing something. <laughs> Wasn't I supposed to add some vanilla extract in this bitch? Hold on, let me go ahead and, and add it in there, you feel me? All right, let's mix it up. And then let's go ahead and add the rest of it in here. All right, child, now let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. After that, I need to go ahead and put this thing on top of this baking tray. Then I need to add some water on the sides. All right, now let's go ahead and put this thing in the oven for a little bit. All right, y'all, my flan is fine. As no! Ah, oh, fuck, man. Damn. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it, bro. <laughs> Hopefully this at least tastes good. <laughs> God damn, this shit hot as hell. Yo, this shit actually good as hell, bro. It feel like I'm eating a cheesecake. For real, for real. This ain't fire. Oh, too bad that I messed it up. Oh, well, it is what it is.
Let's make it a thousand stuffed Oreos. Damn. A while back, I made a hundred layered Oreo. And you all Long love as Then I saw a comment that said, do an a thousand layer Oreo. Every double stuffed family size package has 48 Oreos. Which means we need to use about 11 packages. We have 500 double stuffed Oreos. Let's get to work. It took me about an hour and a half to remove the filling. But this was the tallest I could get without it falling over. Huh. Guess the stack number in the comments below. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I can make one taller than his shit. No cap. Yeah, Nick Dio Giovanni, if you're looking at this, I'm challenging you to, to, to Oreo off. I don't, I, I don't really know. <laughs> let me, all right, let, let, let me go, um, make it. All right, y'all, so I got all these Oreos, and bro, they're mega stuff. So check this out, bro. This is my game plan, bro. I'ma basically, get the fuck out of the way. I'ma I'm basically, like, um, I'ma basically give me like a bunch of um, what's called I'm ah I keep sorry I'm basically I'ma separate the Oreos um from the I'm a, I keep fucking stuttering I'ma separate the Oreos and the icings you feel me uh huh uh huh and then I'm gonna start stacking up all the icings on top of this kebab stick so I can make it as tall as possible and it doesn't fall so um let me go ahead and just get to making it you feel me this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> One eternity later. Hey y'all, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's getting harder and harder to keep this thing up, so I have to hold it. But I wanna make it as tall as possible, bro. No cap. So I'm gonna keep going, bro. No cap. I'm gonna keep going, bro. Swear to God. Oh, God. It's starting to become hard, bro, because I'm only using one hand. I gotta have one hand hold this thing. Because if I don't hold it, bro, it's gonna fall. Not gonna lie, y'all. I think this is the tallest that I can get it without it falling, bro. Because, bro, this shit's like dead ass bottle fall, bro. Like, I gotta hold it together, bro. So let me go ahead and just put this like Oreo on top of it to top it off. Boom, y'all. This is my 10,000 stuff Oreo, bro. God damn, bro. Look at this shit, bro. It's a freaking monstrosity, bro. No cap, bro. Let's try it. Ah, tastes like diabetes. Anyways, y'all. That's it for the video, bro. Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Alright, bye.